All right, guys, I'm gonna show you how to flash install custom firmware 5.50 Gen C full onto your uh, PlayStation Portable. Basically, this is an X-Gen updater. And um, yeah, so that's about it. I will have the link provided on the side of this video for where to get this updater tool. And uh, that's basically it, so uh, let's get to it. All right, so here we are at the PSP. And uh, you can see that I'm running on custom firmware 5.50 Gen B full. Uh, that's just checking my firmware. So uh, you can be on any firmware as long as it's uh, custom firmware 5.00 or higher without having to worry about breaking your PSP, but just connect the USB cable to the PSP and then come to the computer. All right, so the file I'm gonna have you download is right here. It's called the, uh, the X-Gen installer for 5.50 Gen C zip. Double click on that and open that up. Get this out of the way. <laughs> That, all right, so uh, you can either open this up in an extraction program, and if you don't have an extraction program, just right click on it and say extract all to your desktop. And inside of here, you're going to see documents, the PSP folder, and the 550.pvp. Uh, the documents, that's just basically a readme text to help you along the way. Um, and inside the PSP, you will see the game folder and the update folder and inside the update you will see the sprx folder and the eboot.pbp and inside the sprx folder there's nothing but that's just for um, extraction purposes so you want to make sure all that's in the update folder and go back till you're seeing the update open up my computer and go to your removable drive for your PSP and open up the PSP folder and open up the game folder and simply take the update folder from the extracted files and drag and drop that into your PSP's memory stick in the game folder. Now that'll copy over like so. And there you have that. Now go back to the root of your PSP memory stick. Come to your extracted files and go back to see the 550.pvp. Take that and drag and drop that into the PSP memory stick root. <coughs> Now I've already done that for time's sake, but just to confirm that it's there, this is my PSP memory stick root, and you will see the 550.pbp inside the memory stick root of the PSP. And also, again, the update folder in the PSP game folder, make sure that it's all in capital letters, or else this will not work, and exit the PSP memory stick, and come back to the PSP. Alright, back at the PSP, we're going to exit USB mode. And simply we're just going to scroll over to game and hit the memory stick and you will see the X-Gen installer PSP update version gen. You're going to start that. Alright, now, Yoshirio PSP X Gen Updater PSP Gen Custom Firmware 5.50 Gen C Enabler. Alright, so you're going to hit enter and you're going to say flash install custom firmware 5.50 Gen C. Click on that and just wait for that to finish. Okay, so now that that's finished, you're going to hit X to reboot your system. And then, after that, scroll over to your system settings, scroll down, system information, 5.50 Gen C full. And I know, my MAC address is beautiful. That should be blocked. Well, a little too late for that now, but whatever, this is my PSP, so I don't care. But yeah, so that's that. So that's how you install 5.50 Gen C full on your PSP. Um, again, I have the link. Um, if you have any questions, leave me comments, send me a message. Uh, if you have any recommendations for any other videos you would like to see, leave me a comment on my channel. And yeah, other than that, thanks for watching. Enjoy the firmware, even though it's kind of a little late because Gen D is out, but I'll have a video on that as well. Um, 
And yeah, so see you guys later. Thanks for watching.